Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Michael Capio and I am going to show you today how to use some basic functions in Pixlr. Pixlr is spelled P-I-X-L-R and it's a online photo software uh, not necessarily related to dental but I'm a dentist and I use it to uh, modify my photos to um, you know make them more acceptable for you know presentations and things like that so let's start by opening up Pixlr I'm gonna assume that you have no knowledge here and I'll just go to Google actually and you could type in Pixlr P I X LR and um, the features that you could expect from Pixlr are the same or almost identical uh, set of features that you'd find in Photoshop. Um, now, if you're a professional graphic designer or something, uh, it might not be exactly the same, but uh, if you're a dentist like me um, and you just need to modify uh, photos with a limited amount of tools, then Pixlr might be worth your while uh, to take a look at here. Okay, so I, I imported this photo, and you know, let's just say that uh, your somebody in your office took these photos, uh, and you know, perhaps you didn't even see the patient, and later on you're reviewing this. This photo here was not taken with a DSLR camera; it was taken with a mirrorless camera. So, uh, you know, the zoom could not be as tight uh, for this clarity, this amount of clarity. And if I wanted to pick apart this photo, um, let's count the ways that it's less than ideal, okay? First of all, we don't love uh, dental photos that have non-dental stuff in them. So, uh, you know, we want to minimize things like the arm, uh, if there were any cotton rolls. Uh, here there are cheek retractors. We want to minimize the view of cheek retractors. Uh, we want to minimize the view of, say, a bib. Okay, but like I said, because of the camera, we cannot really X those out of the photo. So we'll have to post-process. Um, the other things in our control, maybe, that we don't want to see at the end are the the actual mirror itself. We don't want to see the opposite arch here. So, um, gosh, let's get into it. How do we correct this? So I'm going to zoom in, and you can zoom in and out with your mouse wheel. Okay, and that's what I'm using here on the screen. And one of the things here is crop. Okay, so crop looks like this. I mouse over, and you can see crop tool. And you can mouse over, and it gives you a um, you know contextual hint as to what the tool is. So we could crop here, okay? And you just draw a square around it and click another tool, and it asks, "Do you want to apply the changes?" And yes. And now we just eliminated a lot of the noise in the image. Uh, now the fog is probably something I I won't try to correct. I think that if there were creative enough people in this world, you could you could correct that but for my purposes um, you know if my image had fog for all practical purposes I would take this over again but remember we're pretending that our assistant took this and you know you'd have to make a judgment call do you want to call the patient back and take that photo again or not if I was going to use this uh, in uh, you know some kind of website marketing uh, I may want to shoot this over um, definitely not if I was publishing it in a dental journal or anything but, um, you know, are we happy with that crop? Maybe, maybe not. If we're not happy with it, we could either edit and undo here, or we could go to the history panel and, and delete this, uh, or go back here to open image, and that will get rid of what we just did and start working from here again. It, uh, the history panel takes a running tab of all the steps that you've done. All right, so to make this one a little bit better, again, um, I just showed you crop. We could also do what's called edit free transform, and this will allow us to rotate it a little bit. So if our photo were off center, so 
if I wanted to get these a little bit more horizontal to say the bottom of my screen or however you want to say it perpendicular if we wanted to fix the the rotation of the photo we could do that so I'm gonna accept these changes by again clicking on some different tool and it'll say do you wanna apply the changes great so let's go back and crop this image to take care of that function and okay do I want to apply these changes yes okay uh, let's say that this photo was too dark for our liking we could go up here and there's a bunch of tools um, my favorite one here is adjust exposure because that's very popular alright sometimes uh, either me or my staff member will shoot a photo that's a little bit too dark so the ability to adjust the exposure is a nice one so let's just say it was a little bit too dark and we wanted it a little bit brighter all depends on your personal taste here okay um, I'll go back there I, I use the slider bar but I'll go back um, you could actually key in a number if you really really want to dial it in tight okay or if you didn't like it again you could go backwards in your history panel and start from that point again um, my recommendation because there's so many different uh, tools here my recommendation would be just to open up some of your photos and play with this okay and uh, like I said in the beginning if you are familiar with Photoshop you'll be uh, pretty happy with what Pixlr has to offer because it is free and it's available online um, the big advantage of it being online is that you could use it in any room in your office you don't have to do any special installing um, you know actually just looking at this I, I may want to crop this tighter okay great and you know you may also want to uh, maybe not on this particular photo okay uh, typically in my office I'd be done here with this photo this is about as much as I can correct I tried to minimize the non dental stuff that's in the photo um, I kinda wish there was less saliva uh, I kinda wish this fog wasn't here but for all practical purposes uh, now uh, this photo can be saved so let's go ahead um, uh, uh, and add text okay and again I I probably wouldn't add text I'd be done usually but let's just say I wanted to okay so the text box is here and I'll just type my name okay and let's keep keep it but you could change the font you could change the size actually I really liked that other font that we had Verdana. Okay, so I'll, I'll I'll take the Verdana font. You can move that around, and I personally like white for my text color. Okay, and probably something like that. Okay, I could also introduce the concept of layers. That's a pretty basic concept in uh, photo editing. All right, where we could make the layer visible or invisible. Text, uh, when you add text, it goes on a different layer. So let's just say you want to save one version with text, you could go ahead and save that, and one version without the text, you could save that. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. I'm going to go ahead and save my work. And... I could put with text 
and the photo is already going to be smaller because I, I cropped out a lot of noise, but I can also change the quality of my JPEG here, which makes it easier to email or uh, post online or whatever you'd like to do with your photo. Okay, so I'm going to do after. Just label my, my photo, and the image is saved. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.